Vicki Rocco, Independent, and we are doing Discovering Abuse. Yolanda Filgreen, Independent, Discovering Abuse. Okay, places. Doctor? Are you Samantha Burke's mother? Yes. Yes, where is she? Uh, well, we're doing some tests right now. What do you mean, tests? Well, she, she has internal bleeding, maybe worse. She was fine when, when I brought her in. What do you... Why don't you tell me what happened? Well, she was she was climbing on a, on a, a, a bookshelf and and I think it fell. Um, fell how? Um, I mean, it fell. I think uh, forward. On her head. Um, I mean that's. I don't know. I mean. You don't. I really don't. Is she going to be okay? Well, that remains to be seen. You sure you don't understand what happened? No, I don't. I really don't. I don't know. What, what, what's going to happen to my girl? I don't know, but um, I think we'll leave it up to the experts. Wait, 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 what do you mean, experts? I've got to call the police. No, uh, I can explain. I don't, I don't know. What do you mean? Your daughter's body tells a story itself. And you'll get your chance to explain your side of it. But for right now, I have to tell her story. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I can explain everything. <laughs> Please wait. You can't do this. It's done. I'll be working with the actors. <laughs> um, okay, a couple things. Um, How did you feel about your relaxation? Fun. Okay. Okay. Mediocre. Mediocre. It wasn't as good as you wanted it to be? No, probably not. Okay. Not. How about you? Um, pretty good. I mean, I, I feel like I, I got to a good relaxation state in my... Okay, what... Just a couple of things that I think I'd like to see maybe a little less of. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, you're kind of hiding away from the camera, mm -hmm. and you're using her. I think this person would be avoiding the situation more than she'd be engaging. Okay. So, <coughs> just so what I want you to do is to play more out here and a little crazier, you know, with your eyes and because I mean, a woman that beats her children is nuts. Mm -hmm. You're being loving uh, Yolanda in the scene, and it's okay. not. Uh, I don't think we need to be sympathetic towards you. And then and the, the tears and stuff pushing a little bit. Don't do that. If okay. it's not there, just because you made a choice to cry, if it's not there, don't push it. Okay. Because you can, in this scene, you can, you know, you can get lost, you can be confused. And, and then um, what I want, I don't know if, if how close you follow the words or how that was written, but you can do a lot more in there. You know, deal with what she's doing, her either avoiding or whatever. Feel free to, to fill it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did, were you pretty much on the, the words there? Or? Yeah, fairly. Okay. Add some more words. You know, live more and then relax your mouth a little bit. Um, that, so we'll just, we'll just do that. So I want you pushing less, a little less engaged. Make her make you engage. Okay. As opposed to you engaging her. And then you're, it's just locked in and it's kind of frozen. Not much has happened. I want to see some tug emotionally in and out between the two of you. And crazier. Okay. And not so remorseful. Okay. Can we try again? Fine. Okay. Fine-tuning technical thing. Hold on a second. Okay. 
Breathe. Relaxation. Speed. Doctor, are you Samantha Burke's mother? Yes, how, how is she? Well, we're doing some tests. Oh. What, what kind of tests? Well, uh, we have a battery of tests that we have to do. She has internal bleeding, possibly worse. What do you mean? I mean, I brought her in. She just, she just, she didn't have any kind of marks or anything. She just, you know. She well, just, why don't you tell me what happened? Um, she was climbing on a bookcase. <sighs> what happened with the bookcase? I don't know. I think um, maybe I don't know. Maybe it fell on her head. I don't know. I don't know what happened. You you sure you don't know? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, she was playing on the bookcase. I think it fell on her, and and she just she just didn't breathe, and and so I had to call and the doctor, the emergency. And I don't know what's wrong with her. The problems that she has are not indicative of what you're describing. Um, what do you mean? You know, I tell you what, it's probably best that I leave this to the experts. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Wait. I've got to go call the police. What, what, what are you talking about? What do you mean the police? Your daughter has injuries that were sustained that are internal. She's in very serious what? condition. And those are not injuries that would have happened from a bookcase falling but, on her. But what, what are you trying to say? I'm saying that you're going to have the opportunity to explain your side of the story. I'm sure that you will have every opportunity to be listened to. But for right now, your daughter's body tells a story of its own. And that's the story that I have to tell. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean. I can explain. Just don't, don't do this. You'll get your opportunity. Hi, I'm Misty Dixon and I'm an independent and we're doing a scene called Couples. Hi, my name's Jennifer Seward, represented by Exposure, and we're doing a scene called Couples. <clears throat> What's this? Where'd you get that? That's really not that important. You were going through my things. I thought you said you were done with this. It's not what you think. It's not? Because it sure looks like it is. Okay. Okay, but I can explain. I'm sure you can. Because you can always explain. I'm being fair. I have been more than fair, JJ. Come on, just... Just give me another chance. This is your chance. You're done. You have no more chances. You say that now, but when... There is no when, JJ! Just go ahead and go do whatever it is you want to do. Just like you're doing now. What are you saying? See, the pages aren't that important. I don't know how closely you followed it, but it, it went really well. And uh, I believed you were sisters. I believed that you were caught and upset, and you had a problem. And, and I believed you were angry. A um, couple things I want to see. I want to see you have great, excellent use of your eyes, the way you 
moved her around and things with your eyes and stuff. Sit back a little bit. You can on the edge. Of, you're on the edge of your chair tense, but you can be back and on your edge of the chair and tense. The reason we want to get you fully lit and get your eyes. Okay, we both have great eyes. Okay. If you're angry, you're angry, but don't lock up. You know, deal with your tension. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you feel it in your neck, it, and it'll what it'll do is it'll open your emotions up even fuller. If you hold tight and sit still and oppose, then your emotions won't mm -hmm. won't fill out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't really have. I think it was excellent work. Uh, I don't really have any direction for you except go fuller with it this time. Okay. Re relax into it. Trust more. Keep the energy that you have and just expand it. You know, and if you get an impulse, follow. It. So one thing, on the entrance, you had it choreographed. You thought out in your head what you were going to do first. You went there to that spot, you turned around, and that was obvious to the camera. So surprise yourself in everything you do. If you're directing yourself, that means you're outside of your body, means you're not connected, it's not going to engage the audience. If you're living around your heart, you'll draw the audience into you. So, you know, fumble around, whatever, just explore as you go. But keep that tension you had in the beginning. So whenever you guys are ready, good speed. Where'd you get that? That's really not that important. You're going through my things. You know, JJ, I thought you said you were done with all of this. Just let me explain, okay? I'm sure you can, because you always can. This time is different, okay? Just, just give me a chance. This was your chance, JJ. You're done. You have no more chances. This was it. Just wait. Just Next time it'll be different, okay? Just wait. No, no, it won't. You're not being fair. Fair? I have been more than fair. You have something else? Just, you just let me explain. No. No. You just go and you go do whatever it is you want to do. Because that's what you're doing now. What do you mean? What do you think? first on the left. Charles Wyckoff, After Equity. We're doing scene, The Super. Scott Gaither, independently owned and operated. <laughs> um, the Super. Okay, Frank. Yeah, Frank. So, do you walk on or are you just standing there? Or how do you, what's the, well, maybe they started. You're going to walk, you're going to walk I'm going to walk right to there. Okay, just relax and take your time. Whenever you guys are ready, just take your... Let's go on. He got it? He got it, the bomb. Hey, this is a crime scene. I heard, I heard. He's dead, right? You a friend of the guy? Am I a friend of yeah. his? That's what I asked. Do I look like a deadbeat? What are you... Who are you then? I'm the super. Okay. So... 
how long have you known this guy? What, what, what kind of Six did he cause you problems? What, what's the deal? Six months. Six months I've been wishing this guy would drop dead. Is that so? Yes. Well, it looks like you got your wish, huh? Ah, good riddance. Wait a minute. You don't, you don't think I had anything to do with this, do you? <laughs> Never crossed my mind. You don't mind if I ask you a few questions, do you? Whoa, whoa. Um, the, uh, you've got a lot of characters going there, right? right? And what I want to see more of is the real you underneath it. Put that first and foremost, then the, the um, blocked out characterizations. Right. Um, there's a thing that we do when we're working together sometimes is we pick up the other person's tone. You're picking up his tone. Right. You be your own detective at your own pace. Don't, he's got his own character and his own pace going, don't pick up his tone. Okay. Otherwise it's, it kind of blurs it or whatever. So you just stay with your focus on what you're doing. Um, I want to see you guys, this, there's a laid out dead body here. Okay, uh, yeah. maybe take some specific things like the smell of the dead body. Do some things to kind of take you to, so you're using your mind more and that'll free your emotions up a little bit. Smells, sights, and slow down a little bit. Not so cool, not so. Because when you do that, then you get like just one mid range of emotions. You don't get the different kind of life like stuff. Other than that, real good. So, okay. slow it down a little bit. Find your own individual paces. Play around a little bit more. Don't, you don't have to, you don't have to be in now this, kind of relax your hands a little bit. Okay. If you feel tense, then, you know, right. massage them, but be specific. Don't just clench. You know what I mean? You can do little quirk things that'll liven it up or whatever. He got it? He got it, the bum. <laughs> hey, this is a crime scene here. That's what I hide. He's dead, right? You a friend of the deceased? A friend? A friend of his. Do I look like a deadbeat? So you're... I'm the super. What do you think? You have a lot of problems with this guy? Problems? Pro I've had nothing but problems from the day he got in here. Just, he's, he's a mess. Now, how long ago was this that you got in here? Six months. Six months. Six months I've been wishing this guy would drop dead. <laughs> really? It looks like it you looks got your like, wish, huh? Well, good riddance. Wait a minute. You don't think, you don't think I had anything to do with this? No, no, look at him. Never even crossed my mind. Hey, you don't mind if I ask you a few questions, do you? I, I, I got to have a lawyer. Hi, I'm Rich Savosik with Exposure. I'm Paul Campbell with IFC. It kills you, doesn't it? Wanting me to talk, but you can't make me? Why don't you do the right thing? Just tell us where she is. Oh, I don't think I will if you don't mind. Is she okay? Well, I wouldn't count too much on that. I mean, right about now, she's probably running out of air. Poor little thing's probably in a little bit of distress. Yeah, she's even probably just hoping on hope with everything inside of her sweet little heart that helps on the way. It's kind of sad. Really sad. You son of a bitch. That detective is a fair evaluation of my true nature. I am, by every civilized standard, a sorry, Miserable, low-down son of a bitch. You are going to tell me where she is. You know, I think I stated earlier I wasn't. Notice how quiet it is? What, the audience behind the mirror over there? They're speechless. Hmm. I think the audience had things to do. <laughs> so? It's really busy around here. I'm thinking they had other suspects to question. 
Or maybe have lunch. Or out for a smoke. So what are you saying? I'm saying it's just you and me. Just you and me having this quiet little chat. What? Get up! No! Here, let me help you. Just get the hell away from me! There you go, up you go. Help! Somebody help! Careful. You're starting to sound like that little girl. Stop it! You're hurting me! Am I? Let me try the other arm. You are never going to get away with this. Let's not worry about me. Let's worry about you and that little girl. Now, I'm going to give you one more chance. Where is she? Okay, scene. All right, so, um, pretty good, pretty good. Um, we're going to go interior with you. You don't have anything emotionally invested. Do you have a daughter? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's about your daughter. Okay. Your real daughter. Someone's really got your daughter. You have to make that believable to yourself. You have to have something emotionally that you're connected to or you're invested in for this scene to work for you. So you work on your daughter. So this fucker's got your daughter buried or whatever. And, and you got to believe that in this, right? No glasses. Now, forget the arm twisting and stuff like that. When you want him to get up, you say, get up. And then you stand. Come up. No, no. Come up. Come up. And then... Do the scene like this, and, I and you come in close on him, and you and don't make it easy for him to talk. You have to. We want to see your eyes, and I want to see you more crazy. You were like nice. You're a nice guy. He, that's not playable in this scene. He's a fucking. You're a nut. So again, with the eyes, we want to see the eyes, and you almost want to be punished. And he's starting to do it. So then you can have a little transaction to where satisfied with this you know what I mean play with it a little bit more but just get invested in it and um, uh, don't think about it too much feel your way through it just all you keep thinking about is your daughter being harmed and uh, just get those eyes kind of more you know how when you don't when people wear glasses they kind of open their eyes a little wider you can kind of do that really relax and kills you, doesn't it? Want me to talk, but you know you can't. Why don't you do us all a favor? Just tell us where she is. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't think I will, if you don't mind. Is she okay? <laughs> well, probably wouldn't say that. I mean, right about now, she's probably running out of air. Poor little thing's probably in a little distress, too. I mean, you know, just hoping on hope with... That sweet little heart of her that hers that helps coming. It's kind of sad. You really sad. Bitch. That detective is actually the first real true evaluation of my standards. I mean, I really am, by every civilized means, a true son of a bitch. I mean, you're going to tell us where she is. <laughs> I think earlier I said I wasn't. Notice how quiet it is. What, the audience behind the mirror? They're speechless. The audience had things to do. What do you mean? I'm thinking they're busy. They're out questioning other suspects. Or maybe having lunch. Or a smoke. So? So it's just you and me. Just you and me having this quiet little chat. What? Get up. <laughs> No! Here, let me help you. <laughs> You're like hurting like me. Yeah. Yeah. What's You're that? feel. You're huh? hurting me. Stop huh? it. Oh. You're starting to sound like that little girl. <laughs> Careful. Careful. Oh, that's it. Yeah. You're hurting me. Help. Somebody help me, please. Uh, come on. Sit. Sit. <laughs> oh, you are not getting away with this. Let's not worry about me. Let's worry about you and that little girl. Now you tell me where she is. Hi, my name is Anita Cordell and I'm represented by Exposure. Hi, I'm Daniel Handley and I'm unaffiliated. <clears throat> well, your hard drive looks like it was hit by a tsunami. Tsunami? 
What is that in English? I don't speak nerdish. It's not nerdish. Your route has been compromised would be nerdish. Um, okay, that actually sounds a little dirty. <sighs> All right, let's put it this way. Imagine your computer data is written on little alphabet blocks. Lots and lots of alphabet blocks stacked really high in skinny walls, lots and lots of walls, twisting and turning through this maze. Oh, that makes that makes sense, I guess. In a Sesame Street kind of way. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. A, a very bad monster just kicked over your alphabet blocks. What? Just walked in, one big kick, knocked one wall over, it fell, hit another wall, which hit another wall, which hit another wall. Okay, okay, I got it. Mm hmm So, yeah. I figured a pre-verbal type of metaphor would be more your speed. I, th I think I really liked you speaking Nerdish better. It, it, it's no big deal. You do have the backup, right? The what? The backup. The computer data backup. You remember when I told you to backup your files every day? Oh, right. Is that what that meant? <laughs> what did you think it meant? Well, I thought that you meant that I was supposed to put my computer in reverse. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I know! That's what I thought. <laughs> so you don't have a backup. No. Sorry. <sighs> Uh -oh. But you just said yourself it didn't make sense. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. What do you think I am, some kind of airhead? I'll get back to you on that. Okay, so what happens now? Well, listen to me very carefully. All of your data is gone. All of your letters, all of your invoices, all of your emails, gone. Okay, well, what are we going to do about it? I mean, you are a guy, and guys, can you fix anything? And Well, I am going to cover my ears. What? Why? So that when Never. you finally understand what I just told you, I won't go deaf when you start to scream. Don't be it. Wait. You're just telling me that I. I... Oh, no! <laughs> in every scene, there's a there's an objective. <coughs> People in life are always up to something, right? What's he up to here? What does he want? Well, he's probably wanting to get out of this because. She's, you know, she's just botched everything. He wants the job done, and it's, she's making it difficult. <laughs> okay, that's like too airy-fairy. Okay, here's your objective. You want to get her into bed. <laughs> okay? Do you, do you know how to, to, to go after trying to get a girl into bed? Sure. Okay, so you can't go over the top with the condescending. Mm -hmm. And what you did is you locked yourself into this condensation, condescending, 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 con not quite that rapid, but what you did is you just locked yourself right into a train going down a track without, as Miles Davis said, it's the spaces between the notes, not the notes that are important. So it's the phrasing. In life, you don't behave that way. That's melodramatic acting. That went out long time ago. So unless you're doing musical comedy theater or something, it's not gonna fly. Mm. So, but you, relax. Mm. Now, w you have to let that energy in you live. That's your gift. And what you're doing is you're compensating for it. You're shorting it. You're using little tricks to keep it from living, right? Mm -hmm. So all I want you to do is forget about the lines, forget about the words. 
you got an airhead here, and you're a nerd, and you had this dream that you were fixing somebody's computer and you ended up in bed with her. So you work it around to where that happens using the words that you have, right? You go too far. Okay. You, you have an impulse, you follow your impulse, it's airheaded, it's dingy, and then you comment on it afterwards. So I want you to stop yourself halfway in everything that you're doing. You're, you're doing great and then too much, okay. which, which what that does, and then the screaming and the holding the fingers and all that, it, 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 you gotta surprise yourselves. Anytime you, anytime you confine yourself to specific things you're gonna do time after time, if you're doing a play, you don't do it the same way every night. You surprise yourself. You do it different ways, different times. Otherwise, it becomes very flat and unbelievable. We wanna believe you, right? So, so live here. And this is not because you, you guys shouldn't be actors or anything like that. You guys have tremendous sensitivity and gift. But what you're doing is you're, is you're imprisoning it by gags and tricks and things, which are completely unnecessary, okay? So, so I want to see more who you are as opposed to this character that you imagined that you're doing. Mm -hmm. What's your name? I'm Dan. I want to see Dan trying to get laid because he's got a chance with her, <laughs> right? The lines will even be funnier or whatever if that's what, you know, or you could pick anything. You know, you want to kill her, but let's just go with that. <laughs> you want to put her in bed, right? What's your objective in this scene? To get him in bed. Then all the dialogue just becomes unnecessary at this point. But anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, really relax. Yeah. Anita, you have that, that, tremendous that sensitivity. Yeah. I mean, it's Keep really them right tremendous. in their clothes. You shouldn't be yeah. knowing anything that's going on around you. Well, I just was looking but at that. that. But, but that means okay. not concentrating okay. on the him. Okay. breaths. Smells, yeah. whatever's flying around in there, live with it, take your time. You know? Trust yourself that, and unfold your hands, please. I'm gonna do this this time. Do I get eye contact? Got eye contact. Just, no, not a, not a real human being. Eye, right now, do this. May not be real human being. Relaxed eye contact. Not nodding, I'm an actor. What the fuck is this director doing? Just come on, look at each other's eyes. And when you guys connect, then begin the scene, okay? Okay. Real life connect. Real. Okay. You're just like a cat on a hot temper. You're just like, let's get to the acting part. I can't, I can't take this. I'm just ADHD. Right. I'm jumping no, all the time. Not. So. You're, no, you're not. You're just tremendously gifted. You have a lot of exhilaration and sensitivity. You just got to let it live. <laughs> Your hard drive looks like it was hit by a tsunami. Tsunami? What's that in English? I don't speak nerdish. It's not nerdish. Your root has been compromised would be nerdish. Actually, that sounds a little dirty. Let's put it this way. Imagine your data is written on little alphabet blocks. Lots and lots of alphabet blocks stacked really high in really tall, skinny walls. Lots and lots of walls twisting and turning through this maze. Now that makes sense. Kind of like Sesame Street. Yeah, like Sesame Street. All right. A very bad monster kicked over your alphabet blocks. What? Just came in, one big kick, knocked over a wall. It fell, hit another wall, which hit another wall, which hit another wall. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I kind of figured pre-verbal metaphors would be more your speed. I think I like you talking nerdish better. Well, it's no biggie. Um, you do have the backup, right? The what? The backup. The computer oh. data backup. You remember I told you to back up your computer files every day? Right. I wondered what that meant. What? Thanks for telling me. What did you think it meant? I thought that... You were telling me to put my computer in reverse. That doesn't make any sense. See, that, that's what I thought. I... 
So you don't have a backup? Well, you just said it didn't make any sense. Uh-oh. What do you think I am? Some kind of airhead or something? I mean, I, come on. Can I get back to you on that? Look, what is happening now? I mean... Listen, look, listen very carefully. All of your data is gone. All of your letters, all of your invoices, all of your emails, gone. Okay, so you are a guy. And guys can fix anything. So what are we going to do about it? I'm going to cover my ears. Okay, so why are you going to cover your ears? And that way, when you finally realize what I just told you, I won't go deaf when you scream. Don't be... Wait a second. Wait. You're telling me that... You're telling me... I'm Boehner, and I'm an independent actress. I'm Mary Wilkins, independent. But it's a sausage. An expensive sausage. It's imported from Italy. It's just a high-priced sausage. You buy it for special occasions. <sighs> what kind of special occasion requires a high-priced sausage? Um, never mind, don't answer that. How about a nice cheese? I'm lactose intolerant. What? I'm lactose intolerant. Dairy products? Yes, I can't handle them. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Do you go to M.A.? M.A.? You know, Milkaholics Anonymous? <laughs> why would I go to, presuming there is such a thing as M.A., why would I go there? Well, I mean, you know, like alcoholics, they go to Alcoholics Anonymous. So, like, if you're lactose intolerant, you go to M.A.? Um, no, I don't think so. Oh. Um, well, I think I'd better be going. No, but you haven't bought anything yet. What's your hurry? I have to get to my MA meeting. Oh, <laughs> of course. Yeah, you have to go to your meeting. <laughs> right, you know how it is. One day at a time. <laughs> yes, well, think about that sausage. Oh, I will. Or maybe you're sausage intolerant. I think I might be. You guys are both adorable. I would love to see you up here fully. Okay? What's happened is that you've blue to blue blue blue, lip to dip to blip, blue to dip to blue, lip to dip to dip, blue to dip to do. You guys have so memorized and so choreographed and so locked in to one specific thing. What's your objective? Uh, I just wanted to buy, and I don't really know the product is what I get out of the reading this script. I think we should go real specific. Oh, okay. But this is the what you want to do. And I wanted to okay, buy this. no, here's what you, you're just a salesperson. <laughs> okay. What you want to do is make friends with her. Okay. That's your objective. Yeah. There's something about her, and you you just you got up this morning, you decided you looked, and you only have like 12 good friends. You need some more. <laughs> she, you're gonna make friends with her, right? You want to hook okay. her up with your brother. Oh man, my brother's a millionaire okay? too. So. Now, your cadence, you got to break out of that because what, I mean, yeah. you'll see it on tape. They saw it. You just got locked into a little do si do, do si do, do si do, do si do, do si do. Did you say I'm going to hook her up with my brother? Is yeah, that what you said? Right, okay. right, right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So basically, that, I. That's your objective. You already, okay. you already, okay. The objective in here, I don't know what it is. You have to read the whole script to figure out yeah. the, the object, all that stuff. From size, you can't figure shit out, right? So, so make your own up. So you have something specific to work on. So your objective is to make friends. You're kind of goofy, works great, all that stuff's working really fine. Okay. But you're lacking an objective. You don't know why. You're lost in trying to sell her stuff. The lines don't match a person trying to sell stuff. Okay. She's got to be up to something else. So I want you I meant, to count to 10 before you <gasps> say your line. And inhale. I'm too fast. That's well, you're broken up. I'm sure that you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, or one, two, three, four. I'm sure that ten is going to be different every time. Mm -hmm. But you got to be doing something other than what you've rehearsed. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We don't want to see your rehearsal. We want to see something that never happened before. Okay. And it looks like you've done this a hundred times, right? And you're not even that into it. So, okay. and, and the reason is, is because you're locked into the words. You don't want to do that to yourself. You want to be 
spontaneous and free. So now you have this time to figure out how to hook her up with your brother using those words. Okay. And you understand? Oh, you mean me and her brother? <laughs> you were about your agenda, no, and kidding. you were now, they're kidding. already now. Now they're already trying to how to fight back the other person's okay. objective. Okay. 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 <laughs> so if you I'm if you want to occupy your mind and you have a very active one, yeah. <laughs> have a fly. Create a fly flying around that you see and invent things that are in the room. It'll make you very interesting. Why else will be going? You know, whatever. But you know, you got too much time on your hands up there. Can I also say, I think she should really get up and try to leave. Whoa, 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 whoa. We do not direct ourselves don't as actors. Okay. We don't think our way through scenes. Just kind of we don't, we don't rehearse our way through scenes. We feel our way through scenes. Right. Engage with her and that, but you don't, you don't have her do it a certain way. Or, I mean, were you guys in rehearsal coaching together? Why don't you try it this way and making uh, suggestions to each other? I made a reach Holy out. Holy shit, you guys have too much time. <laughs> but it's from Italy. It's a sausage. It's a high imported sausage. It's a high priced sausage. It's for special occasions. <sighs> what kind of special occasion requires a sausage? Uh, don't answer that. How about a nice cheese? <sighs> I'm lactose intolerant. She's lactose intolerant. She doesn't like laxtose. I saw a special on that in National Geographic. They ride around up north with, like, reindeer. Um, okay. Oh, that's laps. Uh, but reindeer don't have laps. Uh, no, the people up north, they're, those people are laps. Okay, but lax have laps. There's, there's no such thing as lax. I'm talking about milk. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So you're lactose intolerant. So did you go to MA? What's MA? Um, you know, um, oh, you know that Milkaholics Anonymous. <laughs> I don't think that exists. And, and why would I go there anyway? No, you know, like if you're an alcoholic, you know, you go to AA. So if you can't have milk, you know, you go to Milkaholics Anonymous. I think I better be going. No, what's your hurry? You haven't bought anything yet. I have to go to my meeting, my MA meeting. Oh, okay, yeah. You don't want to be late for that. Right. Yeah. One day at a time. Yeah. Well, think about that sausage. I will. Unless you're sausage intolerant. I think I might be. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Crystal Hybe, and I'm independent. Hi, I'm Theo Clark, and I'm with Talent Unlimited. And our, um, we're reading it's called Vanity Thy Name is Storm. <laughs> smooth, smooth move. Do you ever wish you were really good looking? You mean instead of just being ungodly hot? Whatever. You do wonder for a person's ego, you know? I do. Absolutely. As long as that person's yourself. Anyway, what's your point? It's really hard sometimes. Being perfect, you mean? Right. God's gift? Exactly. However do you bear the weight? Huh, you know, I work out. Funny, I wouldn't have guessed. Hey. You really do think you're perfect, don't you? I know it sounds arrogant. Oh, no, not a bit. You don't think so? No, not at all. I mean, kind of think it's enduring. Is it? Sure, for, you know, someone to think that they're so perfect and they have this great big zit. Uh, zit? Where? Where? Didn't you look in the mirror this morning? You're kidding me, right? Silly me. And you didn't see that? No. I mean, it's not like you'd see it on a normal person. N normal? Who cares about normal here? I, but we're talking perfection, right? Exactly. I mean, it's like finding a scratch on the Mona Lisa. 
Unthinkable. A desecration! You know, you're held to a higher standard. Oh, God, I gotta get to a mirror. It's in the back. Hi, Mom. You know that book that you sent me on the power of suggestion? <laughs> I think it's working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. What I'm seeing a lot of tension. You, you're kind of holding everything right in here, and because I can see this tremendous. You're saying a high-pitched voice. No, no, no. Oh, okay, because no, 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 no. I do. It's just natural. No, no, no. <laughs> that's not what <laughs> I'm saying. But, but it's kind of you can speak from any part of your diaphragm that you want, or have some range. But if you stay up in one spot, then you're kind of uh, using that as a. Uh, a way of holding tension. So uh, the you've got to you got to relax more and be more yourself. You know you have to live more on stage. I know the term is acting, but basically we have to see your the true you, right? So you need to work on on, on breaking that tension. Maybe not. Uh, uh, maybe put some more movement into it or something like that. But um, breathe and relax and kind of feel your way through it as opposed to do it as you rehearsed it or whatever. You need to relax and breathe. A lot of times, what, some people, they pick one thing and it takes their mind off what they're doing and they can kind of free up and, and start moving through the scene or whatever. Some people need two things to be working on at once to distract their mind. Some people need three or four. You know, it's just everybody's different. Everybody's instrument's different. Every, everybody's way of working is different. But you're going to have to find a way to have more freedom up there. So um, don't kind of lock into him and, and be specific about things and, and take your time a little bit more. Slow it down a little bit to where when you sit, when you, in other words, discover the pimple and sort of like the pimple on your face, you're, you're looking at him and then you find something, zero in on it so it's specific, and then say your line or whatever. Now, are you right on book? You're saying every line as? Um, pretty much. Okay. Um, um, try to break it up a little bit. Just kind of relax a little bit more. And now, what's your objective here? Um, I guess to get back at him and to kind of uh, give him a little taste of his own medicine. Okay, so you're angry with him and you want to hurt him or punish him. Oh, yeah. Okay, who in your past, you don't have to tell me or whatever, just breathe and relax for a second. Think of what, who pops into your mind when you think of somebody that really fucked you over? <laughs> well, there's many guys. Okay, well, no, no, no. <laughs> did, did someone pop into your mind? You don't um, have to tell me. Yeah. Okay, now, what I want you to do is what's called uh, a uh, substitution. I want you to substitute this guy for this guy. You got, you're probably friends with him. You probably get along with him, right? It, oh, it kind of shows a little bit. So what I want you to do is, whether the other guy's shape of his ear, or his head, the way he smelled something, I want you to actively create and overlay it on him, and I want you to act with that person that fucked you over so you have something real to deal with, and it won't be so um, nonspecific. What were you working on? <laughs> I'm just being. I'm in the moment, so whatever happens... I'm just I mean, why as an actor in the scene, what choice have you made as to why you're there? And My choice is to be in the moment. Okay, but your choice is to be in the moment. Mm -hmm. well, just to react. Okay, but but it, it, does this particular actor, not you, the character in the scene, does he want something? I don't. I don't know. I mean, like, I look at it like they're they're having the conversation. Okay. Well, then just converse. <laughs> Do you ever really wish that you were just really good looking? Instead of just being ungodly hot? Uh, whatever. You know, you do wonders for a person's ego. Do I? Absolutely. As long as that person's yourself. <laughs> anyway, what's your point? It's really hard sometimes. Being perfect, you mean? Right. God's gift? Exactly. However do you bear the weight? I work out. Funny, I never would have guessed. 
Hey. You really do think you're perfect, don't you? I know it sounds kind of arrogant. Oh, no, not a bit. Oh, you don't think so? No. Actually, I think it's endearing. It is? Yeah, sure. For someone so perfect to, you know, even though they have this great big zit. Hmm. A, z a, whoop, a zit? Where? Y you don't see it? It's right there. Didn't you look in the mirror this morning? You're kidding me, right? Silly me. Uh, and you didn't even notice it. No? I mean, it's not like you'd see it on a normal person. Normal? Who cares, who cares about normal people? Uh, but we're talking perfection here, right? Exactly. It's like finding a scratch on the Mona Lisa. Unthinkable? A desecration. You know, you're held to a higher standard. I gotta get to a mirror. There's uh, one in the back over there. Hey, Mom. You know that book on the power of suggestion that you gave me? I think it's working. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Hi, I'm Rich Savosik with Exposure. Hi, I'm Trevor Martin, and I'm with Exposure, and we are doing a scene from the squad room. Can I speak to Detective Warren, please? That's me. I understand you arrested little Timmy. Yeah. Touch and go for a while, but we got him now. We got him dead to rights. I need you to let him go. What? Are you kidding me? I couldn't be any more serious, Detective. You have any idea how many murders this guy's committed? A lot. Probably some you don't even know about. And you're asking me to put him back on the streets? Let me be clear, Detective. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you to release him. Why? Now. Why? Because he's one of your informants? He's not just any informant. He's a key man. A key man in a major investigation. Major investigation. And how many lives are worth that major investigation? One that might save a thousand. What? Terror? Are you telling me this cheap street punk is involved with a terror plot? I can't discuss that. No, no, I can't let him go just because you say so. I understand. Read this, please. I don't believe it. Believe it, detective. Or not. Timmy needs to walk. Now. That pause means the scene's over. What choice did you make as far as your objective from the lines that you, or what you, what did you really want to do there? Did you really want to keep him? Did you really want to find out what the heck was going on or what's your, what's this guy after in this? I wanted to make him work for it. Make him work for it, why? Right, because I didn't want, I didn't want the FBI coming in, this is my case. What I really wanted to do was get up and punch him. Okay, so then, um, then you have to do it. Then you have to do it with words. Okay. You can't use your fist. If your motivation is to hurt him, to get him out of there, then that's fine. Okay. Then you you have to. Then that has to be behind those words. Okay. Okay. And uh, your objective is to get him to release him now. But you already have a document that forces him to do that, right? Mm-hmm. 
So there's nothing at stake. There's something else. Okay. That, there's another choice you need to make, okay. make besides that because you're holding the cards. You know you've got this going in. So, and I don't know what the script or whatever it is, but do you understand what I'm saying? Sure, yes. So, yeah, I've got so in our objection objective, we investigate and then make our choice and make our move for what you're after. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know what this guy, how he ticks? Do you want to, um, you know, get his job or just pick something specific right. Other than what you already know is going to occur, because then you're just going through motions. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then um, s just slow it down a hair, so that there's more thinking and more or less acting off the words. Okay. Do you have a question? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you have this. You have these great eyes, and you've got a brow that, if your chin is not level, you shadow your eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the way you're looking at me right now is great, but when you start to act, drop your chin a little bit, you have a tendency to kind of hide in there a little bit. You kind of act un from underneath your lid. that makes yeah. sense? Yeah. Open up and let's see your eyes more, because you have a natural way with things, and you pick this up really quickly for, you know, these lines and so on and so forth. So, so you're not really working off the words, but you're allowing them to happen or whatever. So okay. let's just see more... You know, let's see, what's your name again? Rich. Let's see how Rich punches someone with their words in his intellect or whatever. It's an emotional thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could I speak with uh, Detective Warren, please? That's me. I understand you arrested little Timmy. Yeah. It was touch and go for a while, but we got him now. We got him dead to rights. I need you to let him go. What? Are you kidding me? I couldn't be any more serious, Detective. Do you have any idea how many murders this guy's committed? A lot. Probably some you don't even know about. <laughs> and you're asking me to put him back out on the streets? Let me be clear, Detective. I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm telling you to release Timmy <laughs> now. Why? Because he's one of your informants? He's not just any informant. He's the key man. The key man on a major investigation. Major investigation. And how many lives are worth it for this major investigation? Maybe up to a thousand. Live saved, detective? What is it, terror? Are you telling me this cheap street punk is involved with a terror plot? I can't discuss that. And I can't let him go just because you say so. I understand. Read this, please. Hmm, gotta be kidding me. Believe it, detective. Or don't. Timmy needs to walk. <laughs>